Hi friends, welcome to free online tech videos. My name is Ravi. In this video session, I am going to tell you that uh, history command, uh, history variables, environment variables, how you can configure your history uh, so that um, you can capture everything from the users and you can store into the some files and uh, reference as a central uh, history command and also how easily you can remember your commands so that's what i'm going to tell you in this uh, video session so let's stay tuned until the end of this video so that you can understand better all the options and all the uh, variables how you can configure your uh, history so the history is the major thing on the linux administration part every day of the administration life they use history command to check the last executed commands or what are the commands they executed all the stuff okay so the first of all if you execute history command over here so what it will do is that um, it will show you the history how many commands you executed and uh, which commands you executed all the stuff okay so this history will be where it will be stored so basically uh, if you can call dollar is to file so this is the variable is configured for the history so, okay so this is where your history will be stored okay this is where your history has been stored so if you can cat this file you can see that all the comments but you cannot see any sequence numbers over here okay example see uh, history you cannot see any sequence number on that file but you can see the uh, sequence file over here the number over here right so how it is um, the number will be calculated over here on the history so the history number will be added using the history format okay the history format whatever you give the history format or the history control uh, variables so if you configure such a way that uh, so as of now my history does not have any date and time all this stuff so i want to add the history format would be a different one so every time when i execute that um, uh, history command it should store uh, its date and time with uh, timestamp okay history time format equal to okay so what i'm doing over here it is that within the quotation marks i'm giving hours and i'm giving the day okay uh, sorry i'm giving the exact hours and i say minutes and seconds okay so what it will do it should store your the values as a history okay data and all the stuff in the history file adi it should format it, it does not actually store into the history file but whenever you come type history command it format the date and time using the history see this now you can see that right the sorry so they I, okay now you can do you see that now all the commands which are executed over here which will be added with your date sorry month date time and minutes and seconds so that you can identify that okay this command is executed and so and so date this command is executed and so and so say date something like that okay you can also add some year if you want but uh, uh, I don't think the year will be a useful stuff. Okay, maybe you can use um, over here uh, the year. So example the y, so that the year also will be added to the history command over here. Okay, maybe we'll add full year because um, this will give a little bit more information to us. Okay, like this you can format the history but example i wanted to ignore some something okay history control i wanted to ignore something so whatever the commands i execute few commands in regular way which is uh, 
not make sense in storing into the history value something like a clear command okay i don't want this so history ignore clear command so whenever you type the clear command clear command so you are writing all the clear commands and if you are um, doing the stuff like this the clear command will be see this the clear command will be ignored how many times you type the clear command the clear command will be ignored it will not store that command into the history file or the history so that like that if you want to uh, ignore some of the commands Exa example say that uh, ls command cat command something like that so those are not uh, very useful actually so regular basis the administrators will the administrators will run those commands so storing those the history file will uh, increases but um, not useful so you may uh, do some uh, clear stuff so that you can ignore some history which is not to store on the history file okay some of the values are is that so some uh, variable i am exporting over here it is that uh, history control so history control is the option you can use uh, something like uh, i want to ignore the duplicates example say ignore dubs so what it will do that every time if you type the command uh, again and again okay ls 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 something like this okay so what it will do is that it will not store all these uh, ls commands again and again so the history control will take whenever it write to the file it says that ignore the duplicates okay like that or you can also do something like i don't want to store some commands on the history okay this is the top secret how you can do that okay see this so the top secret how you can do is that ignore space so wherever the command you give the space the command cannot be stored into the history example say space and type ls or uh, space i want to type something like a uh, uh, tab command okay now if you go to the history command and see that there is no commands what like that so you can ignore some space some something like so this history control you may not know by the other administrator that while typing the commands you, you if you give the space so that will not store so like that you can give the history control like ignore the space so whatever the commands if you want to run some secret commands that other administrators or other users they don't want to see my history then you can see ignore space then on the history control then it will ignore in some times if you want to erase the duplicates at the right away history control you can see over here is that um, erase dubs in the sense erase the duplicates and uh, ignore spaces in the sense do not store these values into the history control okay you can do this values like this so that what happens whenever you enter some commands with the duplicate values example say top and again i am typing the top command again i am typing ps au ps command something like this again typing ps command then if you go to the history command so what happens the top and is ps commands are stored only one time because what i said erase the duplicate commands okay do not store and i said ignore the spaces and i said uh, ignore the clear command okay so the clear command will be ignored and the spaces will be ignored and um, you can also say ignore the du duplicates and erase the du duplicate uh, files like that you can use this history control to control your history and you can also use history format to do your uh, history then sometimes uh, so many users are working on your um, uh, same use sometimes like common user is there then um, uh, they are typing commands typing commands they are typing commands they do, do not 
close the session until then the history will not be write to your um, history file until they exit the session but that time what you can do over here it is that you can use the history size okay history size to be more history file size okay I'm calling this variable over here so I have currently thousand then uh, I want to use something like uh, 10,000 value over here or 20,000 value over here or 50,000 something like this then I want to store these 50,000 commands into the history file so that 50,000 commands which means that in the day you cannot execute that many commands so that is more than enough history file size or history size you can also use uh, hist size values over here equal to 50,000 something like this and uh, call this history size value over here and you can see that how much value has been assigned like this you can format your history commands using the history uh, parameters so there are also some some um, uh, expertized uh, repeated commands you can do over here using the history you can do some magic on the history command using uh, like uh, execute or faster than faster ever faster your commands using the history command or the history strings how you can do that example say history you wanted to see top uh, 30 commands only then you can type um, history 30 then it will give only the 30 values of uh, your last uh, executed commands okay um, if you want to example say uh, i want to delete some uh, history value in the some position example say I executed uh, some commands over here this command I don't want it to show to anybody else I want to delete that value only without clearing the history then I am clearing this history deleting is history iPhone D and provide that value okay see this now again I am typing the history so the command has been gone okay it is replaced by the another command like that you can delete a particular position history value using the history command history iphone d and provide that position number so that it will delete okay so one more stuff is that you want to append some history position value with another command maybe i want to update um, these 972 value with ps command then if you type history then 972 value will be appended okay like this you can use a append values and you can use delete value or you can also use a history iphone a will update automatically to the dot dot uh, bash underscore history file okay this will automatically update into your files like this you can do that and if you want to say something like uh, history iphone r what it will do it will immediately change your uh, history file also you can see this okay so like this you can use r if you want to immediately write your history to the file right now example say um, cat dot bash underscore history history file but here there are only few commands are written see some as of now I executed so many exports command all the stuff but those are not written to the history file yet because until and unless I exit the session it not writes to the history file so now if I want to write to the history file right now without exiting the session so you can type uh, history iphone w so that what happens the history file will be updated with the latest commands see this all the latest commands will be appended to these values like that 
you can do history and if you want to call some previous commands example say I remember this over here um, something like um, this one this command I wanted to call over here then 1897 is that value of that command then exclamatory then provide that value over here it will display the so it will execute that command over here okay uh, our example if you want to execute something like the bash file i wanted to show over here 1939 command i wanted to execute so that command will be sorry that command is overwritten maybe the position value may be changed 937 i wanted to use over here uh, exclamatory 937 so the 937 value will be executed you can also execute the last command if you want to repeat you can use uh, the uh, exclamatory exclamatory which will repeat your last command example say i want to ls command to be executed and repeat that command doing exclamatory exclamatory so it will repeat your last command okay so i want to repeat the only options not the command okay then what what i am doing here is that example say ping 8.8.8.8 so here over here which is pinging then i want to call that 8.8.8 value over here without typing that values over here then how how you can do that example say trace at sorry trace route then uh, question mark sorry exclamatory dollar that will call this a dot a dot value over here enter see this trace route command is not found okay or else you can also use something like ping exclamatory dollar then so that it will pinging back again to the same same ip address like that you can use history command to enhance your skill set or uh, remember your commands quickly or uh, 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 store uh, the history for the future reference then uh, whenever you forgot something like that you can just you know, type history command and you can see this um, history command values so that would be more helpful to you thanks for watching stay tuned Please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and upcoming tricks and tips for, from the experts. Please follow us on social networking sites. If you have any technical related questions, you can ask.